Lesson 25, Converting Formulas to Values. In this lesson, we'll take a look at what happens when you delete the original columns upon which a formula is based, learn how to solve that problem using paste values, and learn a very amazing way to paste values. Okay, for the last couple of lessons, we built this formula over here in column D. This formula is now pretty good. It takes the first name, last name, and date of birth, and joins it all together into a single column. You may think, well, that data in column D is all that I need, so I no longer need this columns in A, B, and C anymore. However, when you right-click and choose Delete, all of these live formulas that were over here in the new column have no idea what's going on because we've deleted all of their references. Well, there's a t-shirt that we sell at Mr. Excel that covers this very problem in case you see someone do this. T-shirt says, step away from the keyboard. First thing you want to do before you do anything else is hit undo. That's either the undo icon here or control Z and everything comes flying back. Now, what do we need to do to column D before we can delete columns A, B, and C? Well, we need to copy and paste, but not paste, we want to paste special values. I'm going to select the entire data set with Control shift down arrow and I'm going to copy using the copy icon, but I'm not going to use the paste icon, the top half of the paste icon anyway. I'll open the paste icon and simply choose paste values. You'll see in the formula bar that that's converted our formula to a value and now we can delete the text. Okay, let me undo and undo to get back to the formulas. Now, if you've been using Excel for a long, long time, paste values is relatively new. It was hidden in the interface before and most of the time people would use paste special. Paste, paste special and then choose values. I want to show the paste special dialog because there's many important things in paste special such as pasting just the formats or just the comments or everything except for borders. If you've ever copied the top cell of a table that's outlined, you discover that you copy that top border and really destroy things. We can now copy column widths and some of my favorites, we'll talk about these later when we discuss formulas, is using paste operation where we can add a range to another range or multiply a range by another range. So, paste special values. Click OK. Let me undo. Remember in the shortcut key lesson, I talked about how some of the shortcut keys from Excel 2003 continue to work. And of course, for me, the fastest way to do this is to copy with Control C and then Alt E S V Enter does the exact same thing. It's going to be hard for me to break that habit. I'm going to continue to use Alt E S V, even though they give us the great paste values choice right here underneath the paste icon on the home menu. Now I do seminars around the country and I remember one seminar, I was in Columbus, Indiana, Columbus, Indiana, and at this point in the seminar, someone named Dave from the front row raised his hand and said, hey, there's another way to paste values. And he showed me what has to be the most amazing technique I've ever seen, and it's going to lead to a context menu that I'm betting that you've never seen. So I'm going to select all of the data with Control shift down arrow, and here's Dave's method. I'll do this twice because you won't believe how cool it is and you'll want to write it down on the second try. Dave went to the right edge of the data and instead of clicking, he right clicks. So we right click, I continue to hold down the right mouse button while I drag right and then drag left. When I let go, a brand new menu pops up, a menu that frankly I had never seen before with amazing choices including copy here as values only. The great thing about this method is we don't have to copy the data set initially. Select the data, go to the right edge, drag right, drag left, let go, copy here as values only. And again, it's the right click and drag that seems to make this appear. Nothing special about the right edge, you really just have to go to any edge of the data, right click and drag and the dialog box appears. Well there you have it an amazing way to paste values or you can use any of the other methods but pasting values is the key if you want to be able to keep the result of a formula and delete the cells which were originally referenced in the formula. I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching.
Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off-site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons. Self-paced, personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. Each live lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, and an example-rich study guide. Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit mylivelessons.com today.